Hi there, it's Anne from Craft Fantastic. And I wanted to show you how to use our Maj words today. And this is, today we're gonna to be working on this little video um, with working with collage words. And this is a product that we've had for a while. I, I love this product. You can, it's very customizable. You can do a lot of things with it. And right now we have five different versions. We've got sort of a more hand-drawn, contemporary typewriter, of course, that's a big one, uh, script, and then just sort of a fun, joyful um, um, font. And what we do with them is you cut them up and you create little collages. You can use the glass on top of collages if they're not too, and I'm, that's T-O-O, -O, dimensional. So if, if, you get a, if you end up with a lot of dimension, it's not gonna work if you're using beads or something like that. But these images, the little uh, words are pretty flat and easy to work with. I like to overlap the words a little bit. And they're super easy to use. This is an old uh, uh, wedding photo of uh, a grandmother and grandfather. This is a current day wedding photo and it says happy life. And this is one that says dream big. Here's a graduation photo. This is cute. She's blowing glitter and it says glitter girl. Um, this is uh, from our some of our images and this is very cute. I just cut out sweet and put sweet in and I thought that was cute. Uh, let me show you a few more. Uh, this one might be my favorite. I love this. This is our tiny long rectangle and I just cut out sunshine and then this is from our new um, uh, sunny flower sheet. Here's another um, piece that has choose love. I thought that was cute. And then here is a darling little kitty that says grateful joy on it. And then just a really cute uh, young girl who, uh, and it just says cutie. So you can use these um, however you want to. I mean, they're great. And there are a lot of words here. Uh, you can buy a bundle and get all, all of them. And you'll have sort of a library of words. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to use the collage words. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna uh, have an art image sheet uh, that you like, and it can be a fam or a family photo. This is a family photo. And I cut out the words best friends, right? Um, they're a little tricky. You wanna, first of all, you wanna lay them out. And you don't wanna do them straight. I think you have better luck if you do it at an angle because it's never gonna be perfect if it's straight. So I'm just gonna put this like here. And you always wanna do a dry run before you add the glue to it. And I think I wanna overlap the friends. So I think I'm going for this right here. I think this looks really good. So the friends is underneath, so I'm gonna glue down the friends first and then um, glue the best on top of it. So that is using our secret sauce, our fantastic and glue. And you always want to use, uh, if you're gluing things together, you always want to use the same product uh, to glue, um, to glue, you want the same glues. Because if I used a different glue to glue down the, um, the words, and then I use the fantastic glazing glue to make the piece of glass, the glue might Con, you know, you might have an issue with colors change or things happen. So you, you don't want to do that. So you just lightly coat, coat, coat this with the fantastic glazing glue. And I'm just going to put that down roughly where I think that should go. So there's friends. And it is at a slight angle. And they're best friends. So I'm going to put best on here. And... And again, I'm doing a slight angle. Now, if you get a little glue on the image, don't worry about it because you're coming back and you're gluing over with the glazing glue. Okay, so there it says best friends. And it really pops. And once you put it under the glass, it really becomes integrated with the piece. And isn't that cute? 
That's gonna work out great, I love that. All right, so when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you use plenty of glaze and glue on the glass because you do have a little dimension on those little uh, words and you wanna make sure that you get glaze and glue sort of in everywhere around the words. So what I'll do is I'll take it and kind of move that down here like that. And I'm gonna do an initial cleanup around the edge. I've got a lot of glaze and glue here. And while the fantastic glaze and glue is still wet, I'm gonna kind of push because sometimes you'll get a little air bubble around the edge of the word. Um, and I'm just pushing on the back. You could also take a bone folder and kind of push on it a little bit. But be careful, the paper's wet and you don't wanna to push too hard on here. And so then you have your piece of glass and I'm pushing, see a little more glue came out, a little more glaze and glue. I'm just gonna get another Q-tip and clean up one more time around the edge. And then I am going to just trim all the way around, just like this. a little there's one little air bubble I want to get rid of yep and I just got rid of it because it's still a little bit wet I got a little glue on the front of the glass um, and that happens uh, because you're using a lot of glue and you can just scrape that off later with an exacto um, the next one I'm just gonna do one more so you can see one more time how to do this and this was with our popular long rectangle. And here's a cute little photograph of this little boy. And again, what I'm doing is I'm going to, I want it in an angle. And also because there's a lot of movement in this photo, so it's sort of the words I think are better at an angle in this photo. And I'm gonna overlap just slightly there. I think just happy boy, my happy boy. And I'm not gonna overlap with the my, I'm just gonna come here and probably put, you know, something, probably something that looks like this. I like the composition here, this is cute. And so the first one that I'm gonna glue down is boy because it's overlapped by the happy and I'll put the my over here and the happy. And I'm going to Take, just make a little blob of the fantastic glaze and glue. You could try tw tweezers with this. I tried that earlier. Um, I don't really have the right tweezers. I think it might be helpful, but um, I find that I, I do well just with, with my fingers. So there's boy, that's going on there first. And then the next one is gonna be happy which is one of my favorite words. We can't be happy all the time, but we can be happy some of the time, which is great. Okay. And there we have that. And then as I said, I think I wanna go, and notice how that I'm moving the, the words sort of back and forth there at different angles. You can definitely play with this. Now you could print your own words too. You could just, uh, you know, print uh, words on a computer. Make sure they're laser prints though, because uh, other kinds of printing, um, it they just don't work well with the, the glaze and glue. And I want to avoid his face too. I don't want to hit his face. So I think I'll be good right there. So that's my happy boy. And if you wanted to add a little more to this, you could hand color a little bit in here. Anything that's not too TOO dimensional. And then the piece of glass is gonna go down right here, just like that. Now there is a little bump here from the glazing, or from the uh, collage words. 
So I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting plenty of fantastic glazing glue on the back here. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna push down and I am working on a hard surface. That is really, really important, um, especially with these larger pieces. And I see a couple of air bubbles I wanna get rid of. So I'm actually gonna use my hands and there's one right there and there it goes, it's leaving. Um, and as I said, sometimes you get a little air bubble around the, the collage. So you have to really look at that and make sure you get plenty of the glaze and glue. Um, on the, um, plenty of the glaze and glue on the back of the glass. So I'm just going to clean up. And I go through, I love using Q-tips for this. When we first started, we used paint brushes, but that created a bunch of paint brushes that weren't any good. And Q-tips seem to work great. Um, I use inexpensive scissors to cut. I, at home, if you were doing this, you would trim this when it was completely dry rather than wet. Okay, so I'm just trimming all the way around. And I got a little bit of glue on the front, but again, you just let that dry. And later on, you can scrape that off with an X-Acto. So here I have Best Friends and My Happy Boy. But I think my favorite one is this one right here. I just love this with the vintage, um, um, with the vintage, uh, artwork and the word sunshine. So I hope you have a fantastically creative day. And this is Anne at Craft Fantastic. And please visit our website, craftfantastic.com. Thank you. Bye.